Hello everyone. Um, today is Saturday the 12th of January. It's in the afternoon. Um, and I've just got back from my first day of training. Um, and uh, I'm just chilling in the room. Everyone else has gone out. I think Gemma has gone shopping. And I think probably some of the others will be at the parks or work. Um, so yesterday was Disney Traditions. And Disney Traditions is, they say traditions because it's kind of like, it's traditions that Disney is passing on to everyone. Um, so we're wearing nice clothes. Um, and we got set, um, like, all of the procedures, guidelines, safety, everything. So we got taught, like, um, Disney's four keys, which safety is the basic, is most important. Um, and there's show, um, like, where we, we're always, when, our, when we're in our costume, we're always on show. And we always have to stay in character. Um, courtesy is when, you know, we're just courteous to everyone, um, guests and other cast members. And efficiency is obviously the how you're doing. Um, and we also, we met Mickey. So, you know, we met the boss, which was pretty cool. Um, and I got my badge. My badge. See? Which I had a bit, I don't know, I have a few tears, but it's a big thing getting a badge. It's like, it's like an honour. It really is. Um, and we also went on a tour. We went to Magic Kingdom. And we were on the bus and we went over to the tunnels and backstage of Magic Kingdom is underneath. So we went down into the tunnels and then when you walk around there's signs telling you of like telling you where you are at that moment. Um so like it would say you are now under Cinderella's castle, um or um you're under like certain rides and then the walls would be colour coded. Um, and then you would, you'd there'd be sets of stairs to go up to the thing. So we walked through, amazing, um, and walked up the stairs. And then when you go to theme park, there will be, you know, what I always saw is just pretend big doors everywhere. And like, they don't look like they mean anything. And you always wonder like, what are those doors for? Well, um, our leader said, okay, are you ready? And he opened the doors and there was just like, we were straight out onto a side street in Magic Kingdom. There was all these people there and they're like, where do the people come from? But we then walked out of the side street and there's Main Street of Magic Kingdom. And our leader was like, okay, I want you to experience this because this is um, a once in a lifetime experience when you come to Disney. And he said, look to your left, do not look to your right and don't turn around until I tell you to. So we're like, okay. So we walked out and we looked left. There's like probably about this 15 of us and we're all like just standing there and then he goes okay three two one turn around and we turned around and there was just this perfect view of um, Cinderella's castle and it was just amazing and you won't believe how long I have waited to be there so I had a few more tears and I like I had a smile that I just couldn't get off my face um, and it was incredible. It was just, yeah, it was amazing. And we walked through and we looked at different stuff that you would never see before, like notice things. Um, and we saw push the rubbish bin. <laughs> push the rubbish bin is like, it's like a, like a real life rubbish bin. And it talks and it sings and it dances. Um, and it like will talk back to you and it moves around and it dances with you. It started playing like Gangnam style. Um it was pretty cool. Made me laugh. And um and then we went back, back down to the tunnels again. Um and it it was it was a really, really lovely day. Um it started early, we were up at twenty past five. And I had to color my hair the night before because I had two tones. I had like my regrowth and then my blonde. You can actually still kind of see it. But like it was really obvious. 
and you have to do one color. So um, I had a night to color it. So as soon as I got back from being told, I was like straight over to Walmart, grabbed some color, talking to mum on the phone, like, what color do I get, mum? Um, and then I dyed it the night before, <laughs> and then I was up again at 20 past 5, and yeah, but that finished that finished at about half past 12, and then yesterday we stayed home, and I did some washing, um, and which I'd never done in my life, so first time doing some washing, it's always the time, first time for everything, um, and got an early sleep, um, and then today was my first day of being paid. So, because we got our card set up as well, I've got a debit card. Um, which is right. Yeah, debit card. Oh, and also, um, this is my housing ID. So, whenever I'm coming in and out of the apartment complex or um, going on and off the bus, I have to show my housing ID. And this lovely baby is my um, property ID. So it's like a Disney property ID. And I take it everywhere I go and I get discounts of stores um, and food, restaurants. But also it is my um, free admission to Disney World whenever I want and for example I just got home from what I'm going to tell you about now I got home and I texted friends and I was like hey I'm not doing anything this afternoon you feel like going to Magic Kingdom yeah okay we'll go to Magic Kingdom just like that like honestly it was so cool so um, I'm going about half an hour just get on the bus <laughs> off you go straight to Magic Kingdom um, and we're going to watch Wishes um, tonight which is the Disney World fireworks that happens every night, but um, they're always changing, and it's really it's something really special. Um, apparently, they're really beautiful, so it'll be my be my first home tonight seeing them, and I'm really, really, really excited. Um, anyway, yeah, today was my first day training. We sat in a classroom for a lot of it and listened to this, this, and that, like safety things again. Like Disney's a big thing on on safety, which is really cool. I respect them for that. Like, it's awesome. Um, we went and had a tour of where I was working. So I'm working in D downtown Disney. Um, I'm working at Mickey's Pantry. And I also change around stores. So Mickey's Pantry, um, Mickey's Pins. They sell, like, different stuff. Not sure yet. Um, and Once Upon a Toy. So that's Toy Story Store, where it's just... Huge and it's just got toys, toys, toys everywhere. Um, sounds cool. Mickey's Pantry sells wine, tea, coffee, spices, um, cooking books, recipes, um, mugs, aprons, kitchen utensils, stuff like that. So that's gonna be cool. I also got my my costume today as well from training. Um, it's not, it's not, it doesn't. I did no, it's not very flattering at all it is a costume and only a costume um i have a picture here it's in my wardrobe but no i don't have a bit here it is it is there so that is my costume it's gonna stay in my costume i would never ever 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 wear anything else but hey it's better than some of the other ones Definitely, and it also it won't get too hot. It's quite like breathy, breezy, whatever. Um, whereas some people like have hard out long sleeve um, dresses and outfits. Um, what else? Here's something. Um, Walmart is really, really, really cool. Um, Walmart is enormous they have a pet store and they have clothes and food and everything my own food I'm not doing very well with food I'm not really eating much to be honest because everything here is just tasteless 
So I mean like I had I made myself a ham sandwich today to take to work and I pretty much just ended up taking off all the crusts only eating one slice of bread and just a little bit of ham because it's really gross and then because I eat it so slowly because I don't want it you get full really fast so I don't know maybe it's a good thing um, and that's why I bought the smoothie maker as well because the milk is tasteless it's so watery it tastes gross on its own the yogurt is absolutely revolting um, and the bananas like because I think because of the humidity because of the heat it gets they get brown really fast so they're not very nice quite quickly and so I just make it all into a smoothie with lots of honey honey is really expensive um, and it, I don't know maybe maybe it's just a New Zealand thing because New Zealand like I'm never ever gonna take any food that we have for granted in New Zealand ever again because our stuff actually tastes amazing compared to here um, I, I am finding it quite difficult, I don't like eating the cereal, I don't like the bread, I don't like the milk. I just had an ice cream and it was pretty av, but that's because it was made in Australia. <laughs> um, um, yeah, but that's okay because when I'm at work, um, most of the restaurants and everything like um, Earl Sandwiches, that's really nice, most of their stuff there is really cheap and then being cast members we even get um like 40 20 to 40 percent off food so because i'm buying my own food at home it would just be cheaper to just buy it at work buy lunch at work come home um yeah i think yesterday all i had was like just a straight like slab of chicken breast i think it was and i just cooked that up that tastes all right but but um yeah, I didn't have anything to put on it, so I had ketchup on it, which is fine. Um, on another thing, I was at Walmart and I was waiting for Gemma while she was shopping, and I was standing in the, like in a aisle. I looked beside me, and there was like Marmite and Cadbury and Crunchy and HP Sauce and all the stuff that I have at home. I was like, oh my gosh! And I looked, and it was like the international aisle. That felt really weird, seeing everything from home in the international aisle. Um, but, yeah, and it was the UK, Australia, and New Zealand combined. So, that's what they think of us, obviously. Um, and and Marmite was, like, probably really, really, really small. It wasn't the real um, Marmite brand, and it was, like, $6.13, I think, which so expensive. Honey was expensive as well. Um, and Cadbury, Cadbury, um, hot chocolate, like, I don't even go near it, it's insane, it's so expensive. Um, instant coffee is not a big thing either, you only really get, like, filter coffee. Um, but I can't afford a filter, so I got, like, Nest, I got expensive Nescaf instant coffee, because they don't have, really have espresso coffee here either. They have Starbucks, but I don't really like Starbucks, so... Yes, cafe it is then. That's fine. Um, and the weather here at the moment, I don't know. I, I don't know whether it's me getting used to it or whether it's getting colder, but it's really quite pleasant. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. Um, the humidity, yes, it's extremely humid, but it's a different kind of humid to New Zealand. Um, here you can't really get out of it. So you just get used to it, but sometimes like it has a really nice breeze, and the breeze is just amazing. But no, you really you get used to it. And our apartment has air conditioning, um, so that's set to seventy two Fahrenheit, um, which is about twenty three degrees. So it's quite it's quite all right. Um, and then the nights outside can get quite chilly. Um, I was walking to the bus stop at about quarter to seven um, this morning and it was quite cold but the walk was really nice and it's quite brisk and yeah, it's quite nice. Um, and saying that is winter now so when it comes to summer, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, 
And what else was I talking about? My hours for next week. I got my hours for next week. And the earliest I start is like 8.30, which is pretty good. Um, and then the latest I start is 11. And um, then I finish at about 5 and then 7.30. And then 6 o'clock at night. So that's not too bad. Tomorrow tomorrow I start at 3.30 and finish at midnight. So that's a special special training thing, um, apparently, something. Um, so I finish at midnight tomorrow night. But that's okay. Um, and, yeah, so my hours are pretty good for next week. Obviously, I'll change the next week, but that's okay. It's my birthday on Wednesday. And I'm working. <laughs> My hours aren't too bad though, so we'll probably like I'm gonna start. <laughs> Eight thirty. Um, that's okay. We'll probably go out for dinner. We're planning to go out for dinner. We might go um to one of the parks for dinner. Um, or we could go to Downtown Disney. Downtown Disney. Um, I learned all about today. Um, it's got like it's got West Side. It's got the marketplace where I'm at, and it's got Pleasure Island. Um. And there's like bars, there's clubs, there's um, like the 80s hangouts, and um, you don't need a ticket to get into downtown Disney either. You just you can you just walk in, and it's like it's like a town in its own. Um, it's really cute, and it's got heaps of different types of shops. So not even Disney shops. They've got like the sunglasses hat and um, some clothes shops. Everything I saw different ones. They've got um, an Irish pub that everything inside it is from Ireland. So there's like the um, the bar, the floor, the tiles on the floor, the chairs, the tables, the door. Um, everything is from Ireland. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yes, and, and they've just got like lots and lots of shops. It is, it literally is a Disney town. So it's on Disney property, obviously. Um, and yeah, so it's quite cute and get quite busy. Um, and I'm super, super excited. Um, I don't think there's anything else I'm going to talk about because I am going to Magic Kingdom in a few minutes. That's so cool. Um, and then probably tomorrow before work, we might just go to Epcot or Animal Kingdom. Um, so that'd be quite cool. And we just literally just woo, show our cards and we're in. So it's pretty awesome. I'm not missing home yet. Um, there's too much going on really to miss home. I don't know if it will have it, I think. I think I will start to miss home when something bad happens or like you know something doesn't go something goes wrong or I get hurt or or I don't socialize I like, honestly my whole life right now except for this little moment now is my first time I get the place to myself <sighs> and it's like my life is just socializing and then you know at home like if you just ignore your family you can't do that here because like, you just have to respect everyone, otherwise you just get by them for yourself, I guess. But, um, yeah, and just, like, where I live, Patterson Court, it's really lovely here. We're one of the newest, so three girls and three suites, so three bathrooms. Um, so it's really comfortable. And me and Gemma have different hours as well, so we can just share the room um, when we have our different hours. Um, so we get it to ourselves, it's pretty cool, um, and everyone is just really, really, really lovely, um, yeah, so not homesick yet, becoming a socializing expert, <laughs> and you just, literally, you just sit there, and then you're on the bus, and you see someone, and you're like, hey, how are you today, and then you start talking, and you always have something to talk about, and you never feel weird talking to anyone. That's the really cool thing about it. You've got your crazy costumes. You've got, like, fairy godmother and Cinderella and everything, like, walking around, like, from the complex to the bus and backstage, and you just you don't even take a second look at them. And then um, 
you've got people from everywhere or all over the world. I've met people from Tennessee, Michigan, Miami, Brazil, India, um, a lot of Australians, um, lots of Kiwis, um, some lots of people from um, Spain and France um, and Germany, um, just everywhere and I'm meeting new people every single day it's it's really really amazing it can be quite exhausting but it helps me sleep well at night <laughs> because it's so exhausting um, but now it's a lot of fun and this already it's only been um, I don't think it's oh. Ooh, you're back again. Um, I don't think it's even been a week yet and I can say that this has probably been um, one of the best experiences of my life. So um, I'm just taking every day as it comes, not wasting one day at all. And I'm just so, so happy that I'm here. And I'm really glad that I took it up. And for anyone who's thinking about doing it, don't stop. Don't stop and think about it. Just do it. Um, it can take a lot to get here and it can be really, really scary. Um, and it can be really daunting leaving your family. But now that I'm here, I wouldn't change anything for the world. So far, I want to stay here. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm just loving everything. It's a once in a lifetime and it's a dream. Um, and yeah. Okay. Well, I'm off to Magic Kingdom and I hope that you like my video and that I will see you next time. Okay.